Hey guys, DJ here. You're watching Flash Talk Reviews. It's close to the holidays and stuff, so Merry Christmas and all that stuff. Today we're reviewing Neon Rider by Luisi, who also did Space Attack, another game I reviewed. To sum up this game, you have to drive to the end of the track in the least amount of time. Depending on what color your bike is, that tells what color track you can drive on. We give the sound a 3. There aren't a whole lot of different sounds in this game and the only noise is the background music which at first I thought sounded pretty cool but it's on every single level and it gets kind of annoying after a while. We give graphics a 4. There isn't a whole lot to the graphics in this game but the bike looks really cool and I think the whole neon idea is really neat. I also like how the bike leaves a little light trail as you drive by. We give gameplay a 3. It's fun, but it's pretty much the same thing on every level. Nothing too different between each level, so it's kind of repetitive after a while, and it kind of drags on. We give Challenge a 2. This game isn't very hard. There are a few levels that can be a little tricky, but for the most part, you'll blaze right through it. We give Time a 2. The game seems pretty short. There are 20 levels, but each level only takes like 15 seconds to beat. It will keep you entertained for a little while, but it's not something you're really going to come back and play. So, Flash Talk Reviews gives this game a 14 out of 20, or a 56%, so it's a good game. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.